What's going on YouTube, it's Wasteful Gamer here and this is another one of my quick Black Ops 2 informational videos and I'm going to be talking about the hopefully up and coming update which sees quite a few changes that a lot of people have been complaining about including me. One thing I want to say is it's going to take not so long but it's going to take quite a while for this game to be perfectly tweaked. It's a hell of a lot different from a lot of the CODs. A lot of people might not think it but the new sort of the the live streaming, the cod casting, the zombies multiplayer craziness. It's all new and it's all sort of the first time it's tested out. They've probably had plenty of time to test it, but they couldn't have done such an in-depth testing on it, which they probably should have. But now that it's out, they can't do anything about it apart from update. And they're doing the best, I'm sure, every day that they come into work, they're constantly working on updates, looking at what the community is saying, sort of acting acting out what's happening, testing it out and sort of fitting the complaints in with problems in the game and finding a solution for it. So that's their job basically, constantly keeping the servers going, tweaking everything they can, whether it's a big update or a small minor tweak, it's all got to be done. So as you probably know currently theatre mode is disabled or out of use at least I think it is one of my friends on my friends list was playing watching a film and I sent a message asking him how he's managing to watch a film he said it works fine to watch but I can't save and I can save but I can't watch that's strange so I can't get any gameplay up which is why I've got still photos and stuff for my videos and if I did record and play I'd just way too much under pressure and fail but anyway so if theatre mode is down and theatre mode allows us to record, edit and upload gameplay to the web, it will hopefully be able to get again as confirmed by David Vonderhaar in a tweet when the update comes because if you knew about it, Treyarch has discovered that theatre mode played a huge part in the prestige glitch, so damn you prestige glitches. And also apparently um, emblems which allow us to create anything we like is also currently available but I haven't checked that out yet. Um, and it's unclear if it will return in the upcoming update. David Von der Haar has also said that in the next update, it's going to be raising the score for requirement for the lowest score streak, which is the UAV, which I can understand perfectly because it's like every second a UAV is popping up, and it's literally constantly you having yourself a orbital visa in the air. It's strange, but thanks for doing that, David. Thank you, and. They're also changing the SMG penetration because they think is is probably too high, which is what they are looking at. It's not not confirmed, but it's hopefully what's going to be coming in the next update. So it's nothing. I don't think they're major, making major tweaks to the submachine guns because a lot of people are liking them, but they're just sort of penetration. I have been shot through the 500 walls before, and it's ridiculous. Also. In terms of lag, there's nothing to do with the new update. They'll probably tweak something with the server in the next update, but there isn't uh, anything definite in, in terms of lag and lag compensation. But you can check out some lag solutions, which will be a link on the video now, uh, to some of the solutions that they've given out, and I've run over a video of it. So that's it, really. That's a quick update and such. So thanks very much for watching. I've been the Wasteful Gamer. Please like, comment on everything you think about Black Ops 2. I'll read through them and have some opinions back. Do subscribe as you get a constant feed of videos. And thanks very much for watching again. Peace out, Bins.